Thank you to Cardia by AliveCore for sponsoring today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. As you guys already know, I love fitness, especially running. I've been running my whole life. For a while I was getting competitive, but now I just run to stay fit, to keep my heart healthy. It seems like it's getting more and more common for people to have heart problems. I want to be around for a long time for my kids. I love the Cardia app because it helps me keep track of what my heart is doing and assists me with staying engaged with my health and focusing on preventative health care so I can be around for those that matter most. One of the ways I stay engaged with my heart health is with Cardia Mobile 6L. This cool little device lets me check in on my heart and take a medical grade EKG wherever I am. Cardia Mobile 6L has two electrodes on the top surface and one on the bottom surface, enabling it to take a single lead or a six lead EKG. In order to take a single lead, however, you do not need the bottom electrode. For a six lead recording, you'll place your thumbs on the top electrodes and the bottom electrode needs to go on the left knee or inside of the ankle. A must be facing up so it looks like an A, not a V. You can also upgrade to Cardia Care, a heart health membership that gives you additional features in the app and helps you learn more about your heart health and EKG data. My favorite feature is the clinician review, which allows me to send an EKG recording to a cardiologist for review. The doctor will analyze my EKG and then send me a report within 24 hours confirming my result and letting me know any further steps I need to take. No appointment needed. I personally love how Cardia helps me have health autonomy, which means I'm able to make informed decisions about my health and keep track of what is happening with my heart and hopefully catch problems before they happen. Thanks again to Cardia by AliveCore for sponsoring this video. Now on with the vlog. All right, good morning guys. Welcome to the vlog today. We've got a meeting over at the house. We're going over some concrete. Frank, where are we going? To the store. Okay guys, we got back from our meeting. We were waffling back and forth over a few things on the house, but Listen, we, we got I'm it settled. Still, I'm still a little conflicted, but I know that we made the right choice. It helps, like, if we brainstorm by just ourselves, it's not super helpful because, like, we don't know what can be done or what problems our decisions will like incur. Like, we make a decision and then the builder's like, we could do that, but here's the good here's things and the, the bad things. And we're like the bad things. We're like, oh no, we don't want to do that. Yeah. So we get it's more of an informed decision when we do it with the builder there. So guess what? We lost today. Two windows in the basement. Not really. We cut them out. We're cutting out two windows in the main part of the basement, but we're filling them in. They just were useless anyways. They weren't needed for code, and they were just gonna take up part of our back deck. So. That decision was made and where the bus is going to park. We just kind of talked about some cement decisions today, but we got lots to do getting this house in order. Kids are going to camp today. Zay and Daisy are going, Daisy are going to FSY. This is through the church and Ambry is going tomorrow. We're dropping off stuff. We're getting her ready for uh, another girls camp. So she gets to go again. And so we're just kind of prep mode and recovery mode and just all the things. This is a big moment. We are dropping off two of our children for the entire week. And then Ambry's leaving too. It's emotional. It's... What's Paul again? Uh, yeah, Paul is gonna miss a week of them. EB, are you so sad you're missing three of your siblings this week? Or you're like, whatever. And what thoughts and emotions? Baby grows through. up so fast. Oh yeah, Ender's feeling it. Frank, how are you feeling? Uh -oh. Okay, good. good. Okay, here go my little campers. Let's go. You've never camped without me for this long, have you? This is a camping dad. Well, you're you're at something. You haven't left the home this long without a parent. Oh, well, Admit it. Yeah. What thoughts and emotions are going through your mind right now as you're realizing you've be never been this long without a parent full supervision? What thoughts and emotions are going through your mind? Uh, Most people. No, I'm not going. Uh, I hope it's fun. Uh, Most people plan stuff like this with their friends and they know who their roommate's going to be. And like, uh, we want her to meet new friends. I would think you'd be thinking, I wish I was behind the tube with my dad pulling. That's what I thought you'd be thinking. No? Is that not what you're thinking? Does this feel less scary than that one? Oh, this is way less scary than tubing with dad driving. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? 
take a while to answer that. <laughs> okay, Zaid, what thoughts and emotions are going through your mind as you enter this uh, youth camp? They're cool. Um, I don't know. Was I supposed to be thinking thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, let's start now. What thoughts and emotions are going through your mind right now as you're um, about to enter? Hopefully this will be per pretty cool. Okay, good, good. You got stuff, you got things labeled. Daisy, you got anything labeled? Yeah, actually not this. Daisy or Gil. Okay, ukulele. Got your lightsaber? No. You didn't bring it? Oh. Okay guys, let's walk them in. Let's go, we got the whole circus here. Daisy, hold me. I miss you already. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing yeah. <laughs> Daisy Orgill. Yeah, help your sister out. Good gentleman. Daisy, what thoughts and emotions are going through your mind right now as you realize we just entered the wrong building? Let's not do it again. I thought EFY was FSY. EFY, they're going to AFY. AFY. Well, there's a lot of acronyms here, okay? For you. Yeah, there's a lot of acronyms. Yes. Paula oh. breaks down emotionally because she can't bear to part from Daisy once again. All right, here we go. What? All right. <laughs> Daisy, what thoughts and emotions are going through your mind now that we're at the right building? Let's not be at the wrong building again. And like how much you're gonna miss dad and you'll probably cry every night because you're oh, not with him that, and that can't have any tickle fights. <laughs> no? Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, here we are, back where Susie graduated. Okay, Daisy just signed up for the talent show. We're so excited. Yeah! A little peer pressure. A little bit. Oh, she loves it. She loves it. Okay, guys, this is Daisy's room. Look at these fancy dorms. I'm already getting emotional. Daisy's slightly emotional because we signed her up for the talent show, which she'll forgive me for later. She'll so thank me for later. Daisy, you're not going to see me for a week. You don't want to leave on a bad note of it. Well, maybe so you shouldn't have signed me up for that. Do you want me to go tell them you're out? I mean, I don't want to hurt their feelings. But you want to hurt mine? Yeah. Daisy. Because you were the one who Okay, here's the rules. You're the one like, oh, do this person. She has a ukulele. I exposed you. I didn't bully you. They bullied you. Exposed you. Me. They bullied you. They got all excited. Yes, They're like, they yay! Bully me if you didn't expose me. So, okay, well it's fine. I shared your talents and I hope you do with the world. Um, Daisy, okay, here's your rules. My advice for you this week, okay? You ready? Smile. Shoulders up. Make friends. Um, ask, find out what other people's chairs are. Ask them all about them. Say, what do you like to do? You know, ask them find questions. Find out what people's chairs ask are. Ask what their majors are. Um, Tell you that story later. Tell them your dad has a mustache now. Wait, why, you, like why that. do you have a mustache now? <laughs> you just noticed? Yeah, I just really noticed. I just forgot to shave and I thought, let's keep it. Um, I think you should do a beard. It doesn't come in full. We're just gonna go <laughs> Top Gun mustache. It kind of has holes and stuff. Oh, you don't have a full beard bag. No, not man enough. Um, be nice, be kind, find good in everything. Play your ukulele at the talent mm -hmm. show. That's my advice. Yeah, that's and, advice, but not a requirement. So. Okay. Wait, I need a good. Um, Well, this is goodbye. We split up. April took Zade over because he had a long line to, for the second check-in. I took Daisy here. And now... I'm a bit dizzy from air deprivation. I would recommend you just get things set up, hang out, and then you can contact Zade and 
You can meet your partner later. Oh, dig through her stuff. There's Wait, some no, goldfish no, no, no. in it. There's goldfish. <laughs> no, Dad, she brought snacks. I brought snacks too, okay? So. Goldfish? I almost brought goldfish. Okay. Okay, one goodbye for mom. One last goodbye. Oh, have so much fun and don't be scared of being fun. Okay, fun people do their talents and show everybody what they can do. Left a little bit long. No, oh, don't be afraid. Be amazing, just like you really are all the time. Never not be afraid. Wait. I like that. No. Always never. Always never be afraid. Okay. Love you, Daze. You can do whatever you want for the next 90 minutes. Anything. Our the quadruplets are here. Quadruplets? Yes. Okay, we are going to a little mixer's lunch. Like garden party. It's a garden party. Oh, it's so pretty. E.P., you see our frenzies? Look how cute. And this is the cute owner. <laughs> She's like the serious cutest. April is the, the best. Place. Been a supporter since the beginning. And look at her cute thing. Look at the bouquet of flowers over there. It's so pretty. Surprise! Paul is back. <laughs> all right. Look at all these gorgeous fresh flowers. I've never seen half. Hey, welcome back, ladies. Did you get Zayd his guitar? No. Yeah, it was it's complicated. complicated. I just had to leave it somewhere, but it was like a designated place to, to for parents to, to drop, drop things, things off, up. and then you tell them, and they like get for it essential them. items, and you told them yeah. it was essential. Oh no, they were like guitar. Yes, he needs that. They were like all about it. You can drop off anything, actually. A bomb? I guess you could. <laughs> <laughs> but they would. They didn't question me. <laughs> What's happening with the monkey? So, <gasps> wishing for better days. You never let the monkey out to play. Listen, one time. No, don't I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm looking at her. It's for the other house. Oh, so, so they're staring. It. They always stare at us. Wishing for better days. Listen, Paola somehow wanted me to sing her a song, and the song I chose oh, was. I have a video. Back. Celine Dion, "Heart Will Go On," naturally. I've heard that the before. I didn't film the end. Paula, is April a good singer? Listen, hey. you tell me about it. <laughs> I've heard her sing. It's good. Seth. I sang this song on a cruise ship one time in an evening gown. I also sang, you also sang Barbie Girl one time too. I yeah, so you ripped my outfit off. I have to hear. What? <laughs> I had a zipper onesie on and oh dad, I said, you can brush my hair and you dress me anywhere. Worse. Or no, it was a button. No, and we sang went, Barbie Girl one open. time. And I had my like undershirt on, but I was just like, Davey. I accidentally unbuttoned funny. her a whole outfit. The whole entire everybody. cruise ship busted up laughing. Yeah, he went like this, and then brrr, all the way down. <laughs> On accident. And I was wearing like a yeah, shirt. Sure. Oh, it was really embarrassing. Guys, we were just looking at my first boat here. Look at that, 11 years ago. The Google Alexa, Google flashback, 11 years ago. Look how young and naive I was. Very. That boat was a good boat. It was not, it's not big enough for our current family, but for then it was No, it was a five-seater. The week? capacity on that boat was five, but we only had a family of, I was pregnant with Amber. I wasn't yet, yeah. Mm. No, you were. You no, were like five months old. She was the baby. Davey went to go catch some sweet air on these new uh, roller blades he got. His dad learned to start, or his dad started skating at like 60, I think. <laughs> Maybe it was like 40, but Davey's wanting to follow in his old man's footsteps. How's it going, baby? I don't know. Uh, it's going really good. Pretty much 20 again. Oh, yeah. Sure. 19, 18. What's my score? Seven. <laughs> wow. Come on. Just keep recording. He's going to fall. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Oh gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> like so comfortable. You're actually pretty good. <laughs> we got all Ambry's stuff dropped off. We'll take her over in the morning. Zade and Daisy, from what we can tell, everything is going fine. Getting these kids in bed. Tell you what, I could use a hot tub to sit in. Uh -huh. 
Let's drive over to their house. Let's go. All right. We're going to end the vlog now. Thanks for watching. Find good and everything. We love having Paula around. She's so great. Helping out. She laughs at all of April's jokes. Like, she is my best joke. She's a good joke supporter for April. So. She's like my sister now. Yeah, you're just like sisters. Keep keep trying in there. Yeah, we got food all along there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Find good in everything. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Find good in everything.